Hi, this is Fran with Stampendous and it's countdown number 12. Last week I showed you a lot of flowers that I've painted. What would you like to paint? What themes motivate you? Paint what you know best, paint what you like, or learn to paint something that your friend likes for a card or gift. Very few of us can just draw something from memory, but now there's no fear of artist block because you can just Google it and find exactly what you need. The key is to really learn your subject and observe it well. Perhaps you have a favorite photo of your cat or your dog and you just want to capture that expression. Here are some pictures of my cat Beaver and the paintings that I did. And here's a picture of Cooper that my sister captured in color pencils. One day there was a beautiful Baltimore Oriole in my mom's bird bath and I didn't dare look away to get my camera. Later I searched and found not just a photo but a video that helped me paint this card for my mom. The pomegranate tree and the birds are some of her favorites. I found these old postcards I painted while on vacation years ago. This was the view out my window in Spain. And these others were painted while I was sitting under a palm tree on the island of Morea off Tahiti. When you're painting outside, plein air, you can observe, but it may be a challenge to simplify everything you see into something that you can capture on paper. So if the scene is very busy, you have to look for a way to focus in on a close-up view. I may not be able to paint the perspective of buildings of the entire harbor, but I can find a way to do a simpler version of it. I take photos with this in mind. A straight-on shot of my friend's cottage was the easiest perspective. Cottages in England with gardens and old-world buildings in Italy fascinate me, but I can start with painting windows and doors before I try to capture the entire skyline of Florence. <laughs> I'm designing stamps in this watercolor series in a particular sequence to get the basics and build from there. So you can do the same in learning basic skills and then you can apply it to working larger or on more complex scenes of the themes that you like the best. Usually when I travel I just take a lot of photos and hope to paint later. I'd like to get to the Greek islands one day, but until then I decided to improve my skills of painting and practice painting outdoors. I've minimized the art supplies I'm using for that reason, so I will be familiar with them and know just what to pack. I've loved traveling with a group of friends to Italy over the years, but none of them share my interest in painting, really. But one day, our Tuscany hotel was a wonderful farm and vineyard with a 360-degree view of the surrounding hills. We'd arrived at sunset, and the next morning I could see the sunrise out my window. I had such an urge to paint that I skipped the day's outing and just painted it the, all day at the hotel. I didn't need any more photos, I just needed to paint. All I had taken with me were some aquarelle color pencils and a water brush and some little watercolor postcards. I moved around from one view to another and painted nine little vignettes that day. One of my favorite places in Florence is an area where all the watercolor artists uh, work and sell their originals. And it is so fun to watch them at work and I buy a precious uh, little painting from different ones. And I have my collection on my Italy wall in my office. And if you look closely as we go through this series, you will recognize what I have learned from them as we go along. Trying to duplicate them has taught me a lot, and I've tried some of them several times. Paint what you love, observe it, and practice. If you work small, you have time to try it several times. And that's what we will be doing from week to week. My dream is that some of you will follow along with me, learn to watercolor, and who knows, maybe down the road, join me in a painting trip. So subscribe if you haven't already, tell your friends, and comment on what theme you would most like to paint. We will be doing a giveaway prize drawing of some stamps that are the closest to the winner's theme from your comment. 
Next week, we will talk more about why I've selected watercolors as our medium.